What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best affordable video editors. So coming in at number one, we have a PowerSoft video editor. Now when you first open this up, you'll be presented with a screen telling you whether you want it in 16x9 or 4x3. Now you'll be presented with a very friendly user interface, and what I mean by this, it is not hard to get around. It's very easy to see things, and you can just click on them, and it takes you directly there. There are also text templates. Now this is very useful for good intros and outros because you'll see that the type of text they have are already animated for you and they're very easy to customize. On top of that, there are unique filters for videos and with video playback, there is surprisingly no lag. Even after adding new effects to the video, there is still no lag. Something you get that not a lot of video editors offers is overlays for the videos itself. Now, to be honest, for me, not all of them are useful. However, one I did particularly like is the camcorder one, which is basically it puts it on your screen and it looks like you're recording from a camcorder's perspective. And of course, there are a good amount of transitions. Onto the timeline where you actually edit. This is a bit different to what you would usually see. They actually have video, image, text, and audio tracks separated. Usually, like me, I edit all my videos in Vegas Pro 14. The video, image, and text is usually straight on one video track. And of course, the audio is separated. This could be easier for some people to edit, but I'll let you decide on that. Now, as for the exporting settings, there's options to export on Android or iOS device, meaning if you export for this specific device, you'll be able to drag and drop this video directly to your device. Another good thing, this program supports up to 1080p 60fps. You can also export in formats such as MP4, AVI, WMV, MKV, and MOV. And as for exporting in audio, you can do MP3 or AAC. So what is the cost for all of this? Well, you'll see there is two different types here presented with you, lifetime or yearly. However, if you come down on the website, you can either choose monthly, quarterly, yearly, or lifetime. You'll also see right now all of the prices are on sale. Usually for monthly costs, it is $19.09. .09. Right now it is $6.95. And of course, you can see the rest right here. Moving on to Wondershare Filmora. Now, when you first open up the software, you'll be presented with a screen where you can either pick from easy mode, full feature mode, instant cutter and action cam tool. Now for easy mode and instant cutter, anyone will be able to use it. It has a very, very friendly user interface. It's very simple and it is very basic editing. For full feature mode and action cam tool, some may find this hard if you are a beginner, especially with action cam tool that is more with color correction. A good thing about Filmora, you have the ability to change from a dark background to a light background. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because if you are editing at night, having a dark background would be easier on the eye. Also, when you play video back, this is a bit of a downside, it actually lags. I'm not too sure why. Now, something this software offers, which I find very unique, I haven't found this in many softwares, is the fact that you are offered a variety of music from the software itself that you can use in your videos. Now, the thing about this music, I'm not too sure if it is uncopyrighted music. However, what they also have is great text effects. Now, these text effects are presets or templates directly in that software that include intros, lower thirds, end credits, and they are very easy to customize. Those wondering about lower thirds, they are the things I have in my videos at the bottom left corner where I put uh, my social media. In this software, you can have it created for you basically and is very easy to edit there's also a lot of transitions of unique transitions that you probably haven't seen before and they all have very good aesthetics with the timeline it is very similar to a power soft video editor you separate it with a video image text and audio and this has up to three text uh, tracks and three music tracks that is the limitations as for the exporting settings, you can directly export to YouTube, which means your video will be live on YouTube, but you also get an option to have the video set to private. You can directly upload to Facebook and Vimeo. You can also export to DVD. There's options to export to many different devices, including Android and iOS, and it supports up to 1080 30 FPS. Unfortunately, I couldn't see anything that it's showing to support 60 FPS. So 1080 30 FPS is all I could see. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But 
You can export in formats such as MP4, AVI, WMV, FLV, and MKV. And also for the audio, you can only export the audio in MP3. So what is the cost of all this? Well, if you come down, you'll see right here, there is a one year license, a lifetime license, or for multi users. So for a one year license, it is $39.99 a year. For a lifetime license, it's currently $59.99 a year. Usually it is $69.99. And as for multi users, this all depends how many PCs you want this for. So as an example, two to five PCs as a lifetime license is only $179.97. This is usually $299.94. Now you can change it from a lifetime to a one year license and this will decrease the cost a lot, but it's completely optional if you want this a lifetime or a yearly. Now something to note, this is the price for Windows. If I head over to Mac, you'll see the Mac price has gone up for the one year license. It is now $44.99. So the next one I have on my list is actually three different softwares, but from the same company. It's Vegas Movie Studio, Movie Studio Platinum, and Movie Studio Suite. Now, all of them look the same. In my opinion, after using Vegas for nearly four years, it's very easy to use. And if you're a beginner, it'll probably take you less than a week just to get familiar with everything. Now with Vegas Movie Studio being the cheapest, there is a big difference in terms of features compared to Movie Studio Platinum and Movie Studio Suite. In my opinion, probably the best affordable video editors available due to the features and the price. There's also a lot more video effects, text titles and transitions compared to the other softwares I have mentioned in this video. There is also access to multiple plugins, which of course will be useful. So what is the cost of these three different softwares? Movie Studio is only $49.99. Movie Studio Platinum is $79.99. Movie Studio Suite is $139.99. Now, if I was to personally pick one out of these three software, I would go with Movie Studio Platinum, simply because the things I need for editing is all available for me in Movie Studio Platinum. Now, you can also check out the site I will link in the description where there is a product comparison compared to these three and you can see the different features within the different softwares. And finally, I have Camtasia Studio 9. Now, this is not only a video editor. It also comes with a screen recorder. Once again, it has another friendly user interface. The video playback, however, does sometimes lag. Now you get access to something known as annotations, which I find very, very useful. You have different types of text. You can have arrows and lines. You have shapes, you have blurs and highlights. You have sketch motion and keyboard callout. Now sketch motion and keyboard callout is something you don't see in a lot of software. Sketch motion is basically different things where maybe a square or a rectangle can be drawn out for you to illustrate something in your video. Keyboard callout again is useful, can customize to what keys you are actually using. This is when, for example, on a tutorial, I would be pressing maybe control and S to save something. And then at the bottom of the screen, control and S keys would show as well. Of course, there are options for different styles of transitions, and then there's something known as behaviors. These are presets which will be good for intros, outros, and gaming videos when you want text to pop up. Now, these behaviors are illustrated on text. However, after testing it out, you can also use these behaviors and drag and drop them onto video. There's different animations which will be useful for those who do tutorials. There's cursor effects, so maybe when you left click it will highlight, maybe when you right click it will highlight in a different color. Again, this is part of their screen recording part. And then there's also voice narration. So you can record a commentary or voiceover directly into the software. There's some simple audio and visual effects such as speeding up or slowing down a video. There's something known as interactivity where you can actually add a quiz to your video. So of course it interacts your viewers and they could answer in the comments. And finally, there is captions. So you can add captions to your video directly into Camtasia Studio 9. Now on the timeline, when you insert a video, the audio and the video are together on one track, but this can easily be separated. As for the exporting settings, you can share directly to screencast.com, Vimeo, YouTube, Google Drive, and you can even export to Mac. Now the formats that are available are MP4, WMV, AVI, GIF, and what I could see, it only supports up to 1080p, 30fps. If you want to export audio, you have the ability to export it in MP3 or M4A. 
So what is the cost of this? This is the last software I'm announcing and the cost of this is $238. Now, yes, this may sound like a lot, but if you think about it, you get a screen recorder as well as a video editor. If the screen recorder isn't useful for you, then of course this software may not be useful for you either. But it's worth mentioning I have linked all of the video editors I have mentioned today in the description and all of the video editors I have mentioned are available to use as a trial. So try it out first, pick which one you like, pick which one's the easiest and of course if you like it then you can purchase it. That's it for this video, all of the video editors I have mentioned will be linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.